I'm seeing young people actually be a lot more strategic than the adults. Like the adults are like running on the bandwagons. Everyone's already flagging who they're supporting, right? Yeah. And yes, there have been some young people that went into the different campaigns, but I think on the <clears throat> millennial level, people are like, we're gonna sit back and you're gonna earn my vote. Mm -hmm. I mean, we saw that with Black Lives Matter. Black yeah. Lives Matter just recently got a, a response from the DNC about a debate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're like, no, we didn't ask for a town hall. We asked for a debate, thank you very much. And they're having these adult conversations when people think that these young people have, you know, don't understand the political process. Same thing amongst the young, you know, young immigrants. They're like, I'm not gonna put my name on you just because you're out here talking about Latinos mm -hmm. or just because you hired that one, you know, superstar Latino from the Latino community or, or because you hired that, you know, one Black Lives Matter person. I think that the, this, this election, and while we saw a, a, an increase of millennials in the kind of Obama, the first Obama election, I think more so than the second time around, I think this time it's like, we're sitting right here, we have a vote in our pocket, and I wanna see you uh, tell me why I need to vote for you, and are you gonna do it on my terms, and use the language that I want you to yeah. use. Mm -hmm. So even when people are saying things like about criminal justice or immigration, people are like, no, nah, that's not how I would say it, and it's not really what I think, and I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm actually imp more empowered by that than I've ever, ever been before.